Bruce Power is Canada's only private sector nuclear generator, annually producing 30% of Ontario's power. But in 2015, it was facing an end-of-life scenario. Bruce Power was given the green light to secure the site all the way through to 2064. And that's when the real work began, says Jay Hitchcock, director of the Digital Transformation Office at Bruce Power. So up until the end of 2015, uh, we were really in a run to, you know, run, to, run, run to ground or run to end of life scenario, and we hadn't made a lot of, uh, I would say, investments in in some of our larger IT systems, uh, just because, you know, if the if the site was laid up, then we we really didn't have the need to. So what really started everything was our our digital transformation was our move for our enterprise asset management system. So we were on a platform that was uh, 20 plus years old. Uh, running our entire business, work management, contracts, everything through this uh, through this old system. So, we we were able to um, uh, start up a project now that we had a future to take a look at how do we uh, stay current. Jay says Bruce Power partnered with IBM to deploy the tech giant's Maximo product, an enterprise asset management solution sorely needed to make sense of the more than 50 million documents floating around the energy company's various systems. But another puzzle piece was missing. Bruce Power was onto a bunch of proprietary code that made it extremely difficult to actually locate and sort those 15 million documents. And that's when Shiny Docs entered the picture. And Shiny Docs has been a, a key partner for us in that their cognitive toolkit was able to disseminate what those 15 million documents are. And I'm not going to do the math on the phone here, but if you get one person to do that, it's not attainable to be able to go through 15 million documents in a person's lifetime, right? So with their toolkit, uh, very, very powerful, we were able to actually scope that down to about 3 million documents that actually had business value. And the really telling piece uh, of this and the success story is probably about 75% of that 15 million documents uh, when we use their toolkit, we found out uh, through the MD5 hash that 75% of them were uh, exactly the same and they happen to be uh, zero kilobyte empty Word documents. So the old system, when you hit a certain button to put some notes into it, it automatically created a document. So again, without the Shiny Docs Cognitive Toolkit, we would not have been able to, uh, to have those insights. So now we scoped it down to exactly what the business value documents were that we migrated into the new system. The digital transformation efforts at Bruce Power, according to Jay, has caught the attention of several other companies desperately searching for a way to make sense of the treasure trove of data they have stored. So on behalf of Bruce Power, uh, we couldn't be more honored the, to, to accept this award and, and be recognized on, on the stage. So uh, operating to supply 30% uh, of Ontario's power, uh, the, the digital transformation and IT efforts uh, obviously uh, I, I don't necessarily ring true with what we're what we do as far as an organization and how we support uh, support the province. So to be able to be recognized for this is is truly an honor, and and it brings us uh, uh, so, some credibility in in the work that we're doing in digital transformation. So yeah, like I said, on behalf of Bruce Power, thank you so much. Uh, we really appreciate this work. Thank you. Congratulations once again to Jay Hitchcock and the rest of the team at Bruce Power for earning this year's Digital Transformation Award for the large private sector category.